Hi guys, it's Denry from Craft of Giving and today I want to share with you a fun little pirate cookie idea. So first things first, you'll need to make a cookie recipe. Now this can be your favorite cookie recipe or you can use this one I'm using. I'll have all measurements and instructions listed down below. To make this, you'll need your plain flour in a bowl, add some sugar. My recipe got called for caster sugar. I did not have any. I'm just using raw sugar. Works just as well. Give that a little whisk just to combine the flour and sugar. Then add in your cold butter. And if you have a pastry cutter, use that. Otherwise, use your fingertips and just work that butter into your flour mixture to create a consistency very much like breadcrumbs. Once you've reached that stage, crack two eggs into a bowl, give that a little light whisk, and then we'll add that to our mixture to create a cookie dough. Make a little well in the center of your mixture and add in your eggs. I'm using a wooden spoon to just combine this until it's just combined and then I will use my hand to just bring that dough together. Work that to just combine, then grab it with your hands. Now if your mixture is a bit dry, add a little bit of milk just a little bit at a time and work that through but my dough was rather um, soft and sticky and not quite where I wanted it so if that's yours just add a little bit more flour and knead that into it you don't want to over knead because you don't want the gluten to activate so just nice and steady just until all that flour is combined cut your dough in half and roll one half between two sheets of parchment paper this is just allows you to roll it out without having things stick everywhere or having to use extra flour. The other half you leave in the fridge to just stay cool. Using a round cookie cutter, cut out some cookies. This is going to be the little pirate's faces and I'm doing little squares for other little decorative cookies. Transfer your cookies to a baking sheet lined with baking paper and bake in a preheated oven at 170 Celsius degrees for 16 to 18 minutes. Keep an eye on it and just until it's golden brown. Remove it from the oven and allow it to cool completely on a wire rack. In a bowl, add your royal icing mix. I'm using a mix rather than using raw egg whites to make my royal icing. My packet mix calls for just water to be added. Now I'm only using half the packet for this as I want to use the first half of the icing to create my lining icing. So this is the icing that we'll use to do the outlines. This consistency needs to be a bit thicker rather than runnier because we want to have that shape remain in place rather than spilling everywhere. So I'm adding just a little bit of water at a time to get to the consistency that I want. Now I'm not going to use all this icing for the outlining, so I'm just going to get it to the consistency that I want. Take a little bit of that icing out and put it in a separate bowl, color that and that will be my thick icing that I'll use for outlining. So here I'm coloring my icing with food, with gel food coloring and then adding it to a piping bag and just closing that up without slipping a hole in it so that it does not dry out. With the remaining amount of icing, I'm adding the rest of the icing mixture to that bowl and just mixing that up with a little bit more water to get to the consistency that I want. I want this to be a bit more runny as I want it to flood my cookies rather than be like an outlining icing. So here I am just coloring the last bit of uh, a sort of skin color by doing three dots of orange and about three dots of pink. Now I'm just using the tip of a skewer to just dunk it into the gel coloring and to just get that little bit amount of color in there as I don't need a lot to create the skin color. So as you can see here I have got the, the skin color, the dark thick black outlining color, the, the rest of these are runnier than the black. So I've got red and blue and white as well. So snipping the tiniest little hole from the bottom of the piping bag. We only need a tiny hole as we need to do a little bit of an outline. Have a little test go on a piece of paper towel. Now that was too small so I just cut a little bit more. If I had to do it again I'll do that a little bit thinner so be careful not to cut too big a hole. 
and then using your cookies that it has cooled completely start outlining so I'm here I'm making the first part so it's just a basic circle with a line in between but before you get to the end make like a little loop de loop this will be where the bandana sits now let that sit and dry for a little bit and then add in your colored icing Now see how this icing is a little bit runnier than the black icing that's because I want it to be a bit runnier so I can flood my cookies and using a little toothpick I'm just covering any holes and evening that out dragging it carefully to the lines and filling any holes give it a little tap to just get it nice and even and add in your skin colored as well so tap 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 that just allows it to spread out a bit more evenly and the beauty of royal icing is that it sets nice and smooth just using my toothpick again I'm just dragging the, that icing to the edges and just making sure it looks all nice and neat now in between each layer you need to let the cookie sit and just harden for a little bit it doesn't take a long time to just form that top skin the middle won't be set yet and then use your black line icing again and draw a line this will be for the pirate's little patch on his eye just create a little semicircle there for the eye patch a little dot for the eye and a little mouth I didn't film this at the end but I did add a little nose at the end by just dabbing a little bit of the skin colored icing just in between his eyes <laughs> Now you can decorate the tops any way you like. You can do the polka dots or make little crossbones. Or if you're creative, draw a little skull. To make a little pirate captain, create a little shape like a pirate hat. Let that sit and dry for a bit. Add the space, add the skin color again, add the patch. So just like we did before with the other pirate. Now if you do make a little mistake like I've done here where I had an extra little dot that I didn't want to, be creative, add a little scar. It looks cute. He looks like a rugged little part. Ahoy matey. <laughs> I'm adding a black square to the square cookie. Let that sit and dry for a little bit. Add a red cross for this marks the dot for the treasure or X marks the spot however they say and little dot dot dots for the little map and there you have it if you enjoyed the video please like it comment share and subscribe i upload every monday and thursday be sure to check out my channel for other fun diy and handmade gift ideas i thank you for watching bye